holy book contains references to things that we could understand as like the Big Bang, uh, the seven layers of the atmosphere, um, the invisible barrier that's formed between fresh water and salt water. Let me, let me just ask you something. Do you think that God front loaded like the first cells with all the DNA needed to make the, like complex cells today? Or do you think he intervenes periodically to kind of jumpstart or fine tune the system? I don't have the knowledge to be able okay. to say such a thing as that. <laughs> see, but, I see um, that. I see that as a problem. But once you go down the road of thinking, okay, the deity set it up. I, I can, I can almost, I can kind of buy the idea that he set up the laws of nature to be evolutionary, and the whole system just runs on its own, and, and he doesn't intervene. But once you start, this was Newton's problem because. Uh, he was struggling with the idea that, well, it's like a clockwork, but that it might run down. Ooh, but that requires the deity to dip into the system and wind it back up somehow, and how would that happen? Uh, so you see where I'm going with that. Like, once you start down that, the burden of proof is now on you to tell us where you think that happened and how God did that. No, no, I, I know what you're saying as well. And uh, we live in an interesting society here in America because it's so polarized. On the one hand, you have scientists that are really concerned with... Um, empirical uh, religious understanding and, and on the other hand you have religious fundamentalists that may believe in God but are also they have like very illogical arguments and I guess I, what I was trying to say is there, there are other holy books out there such as the Quran or even stuff in the Vedas that um, are more in tune with modern scientific understanding sure. of the universe. And in that respect I, you know, I'm happy that I'm happy for anybody to not reject science, you know, on a sort of first approximation level, three cheers for that. <laughs> now, on a scientific level, I, I would ask them, well, what about the front loading of the cells or whatever, but that's a separate question, as long as they don't want to teach it in the schools or something. Yeah. Hi, um, in fact, my question is not all together different than what perhaps it was just asked. Uh, about a couple decades, or a couple of uh, decades ago, yes, and correct me if I'm wrong, the Catholic Church actually acknowledged that the Earth was 4.5 billion years old, and they uh, acknowledged the existence of the fossil record, things of that nature. Um, do you see that as, um, <laughs> for lack of a better word, a little bit of enlightenment on their part? Yeah, you sure. Just think Took them 300 years by day. <laughs> the, uh, the overwhelming evidence, they are compelled. That was Pope John Paul II. He's fairly liberal compared to the current Pope, who is ratcheting back a little bit on some of the Pope. John Paul II's more liberal ideas, so we'll see how that goes. But hey, anybody that says it's okay to believe, as I said, okay to believe in science and evolution, then I'm I'm happy about that. Where where do you see the direction of the Catholic Church in America going today? Yeah. Extinct and, again, not. <laughs> 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 Religions have to evolve, and if they don't, they do go extinct. I mean, uh, one of the one of the amazing things about Christianity is that you don't have to do anything. You just show up, and you're you're in. Most religions have all these classes you got to take and you got to give an inch of foreskin, whatever. I mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff that you know guys don't want to do. Um, but uh, you know, the evangelicals, hey, you show up, you're in, you're a member. I mean, there's only two ways to grow a religion: you uh, you convert them or you breed them. And uh, so, uh, you know, the Catholics, I think, have not been as, I think, uh, modernized as say the evangelical church has been. Well, they're um, great breeders anyway. Well, yeah, well, that's good. That's the other <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I think we uh, uh, thank Dr. Shermer for a wonderful talk, and I know he will be available for book okay. signing afterwards. So thank you all very much for coming, and uh, I'll see you